everybody, welcome to Southern Bella Home. I appreciate you coming by to see me today. I'm Sharon and I'm in my kitchen where I've been doing a lot of canning of all the summer produce coming in from the garden. And you know, the time of year has rolled around. My boys have started back to school. And whenever that happens, I really start to assess the pantry. I start to clean it out and get it restocked. And one staple for our pantry is my instant cream soup mix. So I wanted to show you today how I go about making that because I feel like it could be very helpful to you as you're planning those meals this year during that busy Christmas season, cold weather season, football season, school time. You know, when you need a good, hearty, creamy soup, it's nice not to have to resort to going to the store and buying those cans that are full of additives and preservatives. Our family has to deal with a little bit of an allergy to MSG, monosodium glutamate, which in my opinion, I think most people are sensitive to it and they just don't realize it. MSG is a soy-based flavor enhancer that is known to cause health issues. For us, it causes migraines, stomach upset, dizziness, lightheadedness, a whole host of issues that I really just don't want to deal with. And you know, it tells me that that's not really good for you. If it's causing you all those problems, it's probably doing more than you know. But I recommend that you go and do your own research on MSG. And then also, I would like to recommend to you that you go to the Truth in Labeling website because it tells you there all of the legal ways that they are allowed to put MSG in your food and label it. So it's quite deceiving. You can look on a lot of labels and not see MSG or monosodium glutamate, but see other words that they use as a code for monosodium glutamate. So the reason they use that is because it's far less expensive for the manufacturer. They can use a little bit of parsley and a lot of MSG and get the same flavor because it enhances the flavor from the parsley. So you see what I mean? They can use MSG at a far less cost than using the actual expensive ingredients. So you want to avoid MSG if at all possible in most of your foods. Um, so the cream soup mix is very versatile. It's great for use in things like potato soup or casseroles or things you put in the crock pot. And so what I make is a very basic cream soup mix. You, at the point of using it, can flavor it like chicken or mushroom or celery. The way that you customize the flavor of the cream soup mix is at the point when you're getting ready to use it. We're making a dry soup mix that has to be reconstituted with a liquid. If you want cream of chicken soup, you use chicken stock. If you would like mushroom soup, you can add mushrooms to the pot when you are reconstituting it. And if you like cream of celery, you can add diced celery and you can add celery seed or celery salt all to your liking. So it's a very versatile recipe component and it really helps me out in my kitchen. So let's get started on this recipe. First, we got our big bowl with our dry milk. We're gonna add to it some onion garlic powder, some thyme, parsley, some basil, and some ground black pepper. We're also gonna begin with a mixture of cornstarch, which I use an organic cornstarch from Azure Standard. I'm gonna add it to some organic powdered dried milk. But I wanted to show y'all this beautiful jar that I got at the thrift store. I left the price on it so that I could show y'all I paid only $3 for this beautiful jar. And I think it's gonna be perfect. Normally, I would fill this jar up, but today's recipe will probably only fill it up halfway. Um, but I'll go back and make more in just probably a few short weeks because I'll start to use it. So the first thing that we're gonna do is add our organic cornstarch to our powder dried milk, and I'm gonna use my little vintage whisk here. If you ever see one of these at a thrift store, I recommend you pick it up because it gets the clumps and lumps out of things like powdered milk or flour in a way that just a standard whisk does not do. I really have enjoyed using it also for like scrambled eggs and getting the clumps out of anything. 
So the first job here is to get both of these dry ingredients very well incorporated. And then we're gonna start to add all the wonderful flavors from our organic herbs and spices. But you gotta have those two mixed up first. Now I made some homemade organic onion and garlic powder this year from our onion and garlic tops. I've really enjoyed it, so that's first. Then we're gonna go to a teaspoon of dried thyme. I grew that in my herb garden. We have a teaspoon of dried parsley. We're gonna to add to that. And then we're going to do a teaspoon of dried basil. To that, we're gonna add our half a teaspoon of ground black pepper. Now we don't add salt, that will be added in when you're cooking your recipe and you can do that to taste. Now it's just a matter of stirring this up well getting it completely incorporated so that you can make sure all of those good flavors are equally distributed throughout the dry mix because when you reach in that jar and grab a cup of your soup mix, you want to know that you're gonna get some of all of the flavors. And so you're going to use one third of a cup of this mix to one and a quarter cup of water. When you do that, it will equal one can of soup. You're simply gonna put that together in a little saucepan on your stove and cook it until it's well blended. Then you're gonna add that to your recipe. Look at this large stainless canning funnel that my husband bought me for Christmas last year. I use it for not just canning. Anytime I have to fill a jar, it makes the job so much easier because right now I would be spilling this powder all over the counter if it were not for this funnel. And then I'd have a dirty jar that I had to clean. So that's another little tip for you. If you don't have one of these large stainless canning funnels, you ought to check it out on Amazon. They're really worth the, the expense and the time it takes to get it to you. I think you really enjoy it. Another thing is I try not to use a lot of plastics in my kitchen. I just don't trust what's in those plastics and it touching my food. So I go with stainless whenever I can. Stainless and glass. And my mama told me not to waste. So I try to get every little bit of this powdered soup mix into my jar. I really would like to whisk it out with a little brush, but I didn't get one out. Just make sure to get it all in there. And there you go, just like I thought, only half a jar worth, but I'll go through that quickly and I'll be making more. So I hope that you enjoyed seeing how I make my instant cream soup mix. I really hope that this is gonna help you. I hope it'll help you get those meals on the table faster with a little less work and a lot of good flavor and not have to worry about additives and MSG. Y'all come back to see me on the next video. I have more spice mixes that I'm gonna be bringing to you. I also make my own chili seasoning, my own fajita and taco seasoning, and I have videos coming up showing you how I do those. All of it's gonna be natural and organic, and some of it I even grew in the garden myself. So I think you'll enjoy those videos. Also, I have a blog, southernbellahome.com, where I talk about all things healthy and wholesome in our old Southern farmhouse. And I'd love it if you come over and see me on Instagram and Facebook. On Instagram, I'm Sharon at Southern Bella Home. On Facebook and Pinterest, i Southern Bella Home. So y'all come back to see me, Sweet Pea, where I have more stuff coming from the farmhouse. And until then, keep home sweet, keep it inspiring, keep it inviting, and make your family wanna be there. Talk to y'all later, bye. Mm -hmm.